All right, so picture this. Calorie counting as your first method for weight loss or using specific macros, protein, carbs, and fat, something you got out of a calculator online or something that somebody gave you. And at first, it creates a really holy moly response for how much you're taking in. You just did not realize how much food you were consuming. Great insight. So you see a lot of weight loss and you start adjusting, of course, and immediately cutting things out, carbs, because carbs. And after a few weeks goes by, you see yourself not losing weight despite only tracking 1,200 calories a day. Even though we know with calorie tracking that unintentional things add up from snacking to serving sizes to drinks. So you go lower and lower and lower. Then you get to the weight you want in your head. And you want to now at this point, like go back to a maintenance area. But there's a problem that arises. You never cemented down what hunger really is, what fullness is like, maybe how to improve satiation or how to get maybe a better protein intake. You also found that it was actually mindless munching that was your nemesis, right? It was the hardest part of calorie counting. And so you actually just start to see your calories start to creep up a little bit higher and higher as a result. And with that, the weight creeps back up. Also, because you were so strict on calorie counting when chasing weight loss, you utilized cheat meals a lot back in the day. You utilized cheat meals to go outside your really strict calorie zone. And the problem is, those cheat meals created a difficult habit later of huge weekend cheats and super strict during the week. It's like this yin and yang, this up and down. And the final frustrating thing is that you started to notice this strange thing happening where you start associating every single food you eat with calories in it, even when you're not even looking to lose weight anymore. And then every exercise you do just becomes a way to burn off what you ate. What's the best calorie burn exercise? What's the best thing for weight loss. So you really just start losing interest in what you're eating. You don't have as much fun eating meals with friends and family. You look at food as punishment. Then you start to dread exercise because that just feels like punishment for the punishment of the calories you consumed earlier. Pretty frustrating, isn't it? So let's just consider a second scenario. You start instead of with calories as looking at your step count. You realize it's under five to six K a day maybe less. And you're in one of these three scenarios. You work from home, uh, you're a stay-at-home parent, or you work a nine to five. And not even considering first changes that you could just make with strength training and cardio. By just adding 500 to 1,000 more steps per day average every two weeks for the next three months, and I just want you to know, this is only an additional five to 20 minutes of stepping. You could be at 10,000 steps a day average and see huge improvement in expenditure without changing anything else. Now, let's say you decided to stack some eating behaviors into this, and you notice that that mindless munching, you like to stack a, a good bit between meals. So you first just shift away from snacking at first, and you immediately see a change in the scale from simply a drop in your calorie consumption on a day. But it creeps up here and there. You start noticing how much you want to snack in the afternoon. So we use another strategy and we start to track your hunger levels before meals and your fullness after meals. You start learning that at the same time, almost every afternoon you're starving and every time that you're stressed, you also reach for a lot of food. And you're also noticing that you're never full after lunch. So now we shift to just making lunch our focus of the day, more nutrient dense focus while keeping your snacking under control and step count up. And now you're no longer hungry in the afternoon. You're not overeating at dinner and you start to see the scale move again. Now here's the fun part. Instead of saying, okay, how do I now take more away from nutrition? You shift to, okay, what is the area I feel most confident to change that doesn't feel like a huge stressor or burden? So now you focus on your workouts instead. So instead of doing just one or two workouts per week, you do three or maybe four. Or you add 10 to 15 minutes to one of the workouts you're already doing. Progress again. Now, you do the right thing and just maintain for a bit. You don't have to feel that super frustrating world of just always chasing weight loss. But you eventually start to feel ready for the next steps and realize that you actually have 30 minutes free every night for an evening walk with your family before dinner. So you start doing it every single night. Progress again. No drastic changes. No care.
So next up, you actually forgot that you haven't even started to focus on things like alcohol content, calorie containing beverages. So instead of having wine three nights per week, you actually just downshift to one. Progress again. Now you love some wine and you're enjoying being able to still eat out two nights per week. So instead of nutritional changes, you come to the workouts again. And you actually love the thought of a fifth workout. It feels really easy for you to be like, I could get a fifth in because all the other things to do, nutrition, step count, it just kind of feels like a heavy lift right now. So you add the fifth in and you start adding in a fun conditioning day since lifting more beats you up. More progress. And here's the thing. You can keep going on and on in this. And the point is, is that any of these steps, you could just keep the status quo and keep going on them. It's just going to be that same progress level. And none of them have required counting calories or super ruthless tracking or higher drops in nutrition. Use it when you actually need it. Because if you go by these hierarchies, you always have something to go to. You just go to drastic calorie drops. It just leads to burnout and frustration and no other option besides lower. Down, like a rat race to the bottom of calorie counting. And it is so hard to sustain. It's so difficult to maintain that all of these other methods could just be rinsed and repeated over and over until you are living a high flux life where you're moving a lot and getting to eat a lot with all the frustration that comes with all this. So if I were to take every client in the world through the same process to get results, it would be this one. It would be starting with our step count, making sure that we have workout frequency and consistency, and talking about our hunger and our fullness, talking about meal consistency, talking about protein count, getting our veggies in, adding more workouts in, adding higher step count. Okay, now I guess we could talk calories.